Good morning, everyone. This morning I have chosen a very different kind of a kind of curiosity picking subject. Title of the subject is Utopian Society or Dystopian Society by Huxter in 1927. Dr. Huxter had written a book. The title of the book is The Brave New World. In this Brave New World, he has actually given the narratives of utopian society and dystopian society. According to him, utopian society is kind of Ram Rajya and a dystopic society or dystopian society is kind of Raman Rajya. For example, in today's world, if you want to live, you're going to live in either Japan, Scandinavia, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, and some of the European nation, and Canada. But of course, you're not going to prefer USA. You're not going to prefer most of the European nations, not England, not Latin America, not Asia. In Asia, there is one place you would like to live is Singapore. So these are the places known as utopian countries. But America, Europe, Latin America, uh, India, Myanmar, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Pakistan, these are the nations known as dystopic societies. Utopian society is fraught with peace, tranquility, prosperity, whereas dystopian societies are juxtaposite, just opposite to what utopian societies are. Murder, mayhem, massacres, like in Afghanistan in the month of Ramadan yesterday, car bomb blasted in which 45 to 50 people died instantaneously, and how many people would die subsequently, nobody, nobody knows. So now think, if it is not Ram Rajya, I'm sorry, if it is not Raman Rajya or dystopic society, then what it is? But if you go to Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Canada, nobody but nobody actually pinches a person. Nobody points a finger of evil at that person. Nobody looks at you with an evil eye. Nobody is going to bad mouth about you. If this is not Ram Rajya, then what is Ram Rajya? So this is utopian society. So we are going to elaborate utopian society as well as dystopian society in following four points. Point number one is utopian society is Ram Rajya, dystopian is Raman Rajya. Wherever you go and you feel safe, secured, you like to live over there happily. Your heart is set over there. You get lots of enjoyment, lots of satisfaction, lots of gratification. You don't have any kind of feeling of freight. You don't have any kind of feeling of danger. Every single thing is smooth. Every single thing is soothing and not seething. That kind of place is known as utopian society. But just for example, you go to Afghanistan, or you go to America today, or you go to France, you go to Afghanistan or Pakistan or Bangladesh or Myanmar, where people are gunned down and thrown without calm or compassion in the ditch. Soldiers killing the people, pick them up by their legs and toss them into the ditches. Who wants to live? Who wants to allow live in those society? But everybody wants to live. And we live from those dystopian society. Point number two, utopian makes life. 
dystopian Mars life. If you live in Japan, Canada, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, you are going to live 10, 20 years longer. Yes, wherever you are happy, wherever the scenario is soothing, wherever you are not depressed, wherever you enjoy every single thing, your heart is going to stay strong and you're going to live longer. But if you live in Afghanistan, when you leave home, you are not sure whether you will see your family again in the evening or not. And that kind of society will give you tremendous stress on your heart and the person over there cannot live longer. So your span of life depends upon the quality of life. And the quality of life is the best in Singapore, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Canada, etc. And the worst in Afghanistan, Myanmar, and number of other belligerent barbarian nations. Number three, utopian is mosaic. Dystopian is prosaic. Utopian society is like a mosaic, like a garden, like a heaven, where everything is great, where people are great, where people's behavior is great, where earning is great, where spending is great, where future is great, where your children's future is great, and where you are actually planning your future for the next 100 years. That is mosaic. Dystopian society is like prosaic, like hell, where you are not going to program your future for even one day. You don't know whether tomorrow you'll be alive or not. Tomorrow you will be killed in the blast or in the shooting or you will be in the line of fire by two factions or two groups. You don't know whether there will be job tomorrow, you don't know whether there will be meal on your table tomorrow where you will be able to, issue, or to tackle all the kitchen table issues tomorrow, you don't know whether your kids will be able to go to school tomorrow, you don't have any kind of guarantees called dystopian society. Unfortunately, India is also moving into the same direction of dystopian society. Otherwise, more than three lakh people would not have died in one year in COVID if it was, it was not for the dystopian society. If it was utopian society, Ram Rajya, then our leader would have been governing the nation like Ram and not like Ravan. They have been governing the nation like Ravan without giving, paying any kind of attention, without paying any kind of attention to to a populist problem, without paying any kind of attention to COVID, without paying any kind of attention to vaccine, without paying any kind of attention to oxygen, without paying any kind of attention to anything, and that they let people die of like canine and feline without calm and compaction. Point number four, utopian is paradise. Dystopian is purgatory. Utopian society is just like the epitome of paradise. Every single thing in the utopian society, society is similar to paradise. But in dystopian society, everything is similar to purgatory. You see everyone misery. You will see every, everywhere, I should say, you see everywhere misery. You are going to say, see everywhere death, destitution, and absolute abject poverty and melody. You will see everywhere people are dying of without any kind of fault of their own. Dystopian purgatory is where people have no help from the government, people have no help from the medical community, people have no help from their parents, people have no help from society. 
and the people are led to die without calm or compunction. So these are the features of utopian and dystopian society. That's all the time we have. Tomorrow we're going to talk about something else. Until then, God bless, God bless, God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.